they apply that to having the skill set of feet inside of the tackle box, okay? And so you might not be as fast, uh, you might not be as quick, but you can go get those four, five, six yard runs by focusing on work in the box. So a lot of the drills that are made are made for in the box. A lot of movement is reaction movement, but we focus on these type of drills rather than doing the traditional go over a bag, the L drill, the zigzag drill, the plant your foot in the drill and go because for a running back, your pitcher is going to change every snap. So you have 60 snaps, 70 snaps, or 40 snaps. You're going to get a different pitcher first and second level every one of those snaps. And so because that is one of the most unique things about our position, uh, we focus on it uh, every single day at Ole Miss um, while we're doing our everyday drills. Okay, so... This drill is what I call a press and cut drill. We do it off a variety of movements, okay? Right now, this first one is gonna be off an of inside zone, okay? And so everybody has different aiming points, whether it's COC, crack of the center, uh, A-gap, front side leg of the center. You want to not only switch up uh, those aiming points, whichever one fits you, but you want to switch up your alignment. So if you do it from pistol or you call it rifle or you do it from gun, you do it from deep alignment, you do it from even with the quarterback alignment, you want to make sure you implement your footwork and your landmarks and your details about that into the drill. So that way you're not uh, enhancing or fixing something and losing or becoming deficient in another area. So right now we're just doing this simply off the of inside zone. Our details for inside zone are to press the crack of the center. We are to have some sort of tempo. Means that I am not full speed, 100 miles per hour. I need to have square shoulders and I need to do everything pressing a line of scrimmage, okay? And so we talk about those things being the keys to the, to the run, keys to the play. Um, we talk about those details changing your pictures. If your shoulders are supposed to be square uh, and they're slightly turned, that will give you a different picture as a running back. If you're supposed to press the line of scrimmage, but you're a yard and a half back when you make your decision, that will change the picture for a running back. So remember, details change pictures. Be detailed in everything you do and apply all your technical stuff to your scheme stuff and tie it in together and don't forget to work on movement that they're gonna see in the game. So briefly, we're gonna focus on different things. I'll talk about the ideas of what goes into the movement, what we're trying to do here, and then watch some clips that are very similar, but at least you get the picture and see the movement and how they have to move within a tackle box to get themselves to the second level. So right now we're doing a press and cut drill, okay? And it's a constant reminder to get them to do the details. So uh, ideally we will, have, we will want the runner to be closer and press the line of scrimmage before we get into the second level, okay? Uh, for us, we talk about simplifying reads. Everybody's different. Our reads in our, a, our, in our inside zone is A-gap to A-gap to ride the wave. And what I mean by ride the wave, uh, I want to press if the A gap's open or it's soft, I want to put a dent in it, okay? So the verbiage I use is A gap to A gap. I start on the side. So if I'm here, I'm backside A to front side A, even though my landmark is uh, my aiming point is straight down the center. That's kind of naturally where my eyes progress. I press until something makes me move, meaning the hole's clogged up. Someone shoots a gap. A lineman sticks his face in the gap. I'm pressing, and if it's soft, there's an entry, I go put a dent in it. I go get two yards. I go get three yards, okay? What I don't want to do is play give up football. So while I'm pressing, if it closes up, I want to ride the wave with square shoulders. And what I mean by that is I want to press, still be at the heels of the lineman, still be at my landmark, but I don't like the A. I don't like the A. I want to quickly shuffle to the front side of the run 
until I create a scene or then I can bounce it and take it outside. OK, this does two things. This allows you to hit a cut that's inside as you press and you ride the wave. If a defender plays outside of a gap, I can press, I can ride it and put my foot in the ground and go vertical. This also keeps linemen engaged with their block. So that way I press, I don't like it. I ride the wave instead of turning and running and letting the defender see that on the old lineman and trying to shock and shed and put the lineman in jeopardy of holding me having square shoulders and riding keeps the lineman engaged with whoever they're blocking. So it eliminates or limits the ability for the lineman to get a holding call. 